Okay, so last night I had a little more progress done. And I took the extension cord down. Once I knew I had was pretty close with that angle. Okay. I just took two boards and I cut them to length according to the plans. I just cut them so I could my my the top longs are on is level. And it doesn't need to be exact. You just need to be close to that number. Um, you can see this is three quarter. Uh, the plans call for five eighths. I'm using three quarter because I just happen to have a stick of three quarter. It's 69 inches long, and the weight difference is I think around a quarter of a pound, um, which I'm fine with because when you start welding this together, I'd rather have a stiff, stiff upper longer on than than a five eighths anyhow. And uh, I'm okay with a quarter pound, even though we got to be real careful. I'm I'm okay with it for that. Uh, it's going to make welding a lot easier. So, you can see I put a string here, okay, I just put it in the center of the tube, taped it, and I ran it tight down here, okay, to the center. Now you can see that tubing, once that's pulled tight, is pretty darn close, but it's not perfect. Okay, so, this here is just temporarily holding it, but if I take my hand, see, so I can move it. Okay. So I have left and a right to worry about. So I'm going to put blocks under here, left and right, and I'm just going to slowly work this thing up and down on both sides, this side here, and then this side over here, until that thing all the way up is completely accurate. I'm not going to I'm not going to buy fancy tools. I'm not going to buy fancy $100 digital levels, none of that stuff. That that's it's just not my cup of tea. So uh, I like doing things just basic. People did that in the 1920s and 1930s, and they did just fine. And uh, it's worked for me. So I built Pitt's fuselages. I did a Waco fuselage. Uh, done a lot of that stuff. And you know what? Basic tools are all you need. Nothing, nothing real expensive. Just take your time, enjoy the process, and have fun doing it. Um, once this is in place, I'm going to start running my intercostals up and down and this is going to start looking like an airplane so but I hit it pretty hard last night for about three hours and uh, it was pretty fun you know it's a fun thing to build an airplane so that's kind of where I'm at and I'll give you the next update when I get there